You got a free a free gateway now. Mm -hmm. TV is getting old. Everybody goes to the internet. You can build yourself and build your fan base. And let me tell you something. When those numbers come virally, advertisers come right behind it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I heard this guy gets a lot of numbers on his page. I want to promote my product. Hey, let's put it on his page. Go click on a random person on you on YouTube that get a lot of views. Guarantee you see a commercial on his page. Mm -hmm. Guarantee you that person isn't smart enough to know, wait, I should be getting paid from this. All right. But that person is probably going to a person that's posting his stuff, and that person that he's going to is getting paid for posting his stuff. Right. There's money in anything you do. Nothing's free. But people don't understand the business of it. So when, the, when I hate to say it, when black comedians, black comedians are so money hungry off the back, nobody want to sit back and, and take a raping for a second. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to, no, just, I hate to say it like this. I was going like, I don't know why he got to put raping in there. Why you got to put butt jokes? Why you got to, you, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's very difficult to do these videos. So I'm going to say this. Kevin Hart's comedy is not what it once was, but we really can't expect it to be because he's made a lot more money. With that said, his business acumen might be the best in all of entertainment. I'm gonna break this clip down. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group music.com and right here, we got Kevin Hart talking about how to make money from social media. In this clip, he really, really broke it down. At first he was talking about comedians being jealous and how people are mad because only one comedian can come in the door at a time. And that's what happens when you're dealing with these major studios and they only want one black person to shine at a time. It's just how it is, it's how it is, here's what it is. But one thing that he was saying is the barrier of entry is wide open because of this. This is what I've been telling y'all. The barrier of entry has been open because of this, as you see my poo poo on there on my phone. You can literally become famous from your phone. You can build a brand from your phone. And I know to a lot of y'all, you're like, bro, I've been posting all year. I've been posting for two years and I ain't got shit. I ain't got no sponsors. I ain't making no money. I ain't did shit. My nigga, I get it. Same way for me. But you can't be thinking about that. You have to be thinking about giving value to your audience. When we were coaching, I was coaching in Montverde with Kevin Sutton, who's at the University of Rhode Island. Shout out, coach, I love you. When I was with him, one thing we used to always say is that there are two species that you can't lie to. Kids and dogs. Kids will sniff out bad energy very quick. You ever walked into a room or seen somebody walk into a room and a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old just don't like somebody, just won't go near them, they get near them, they start crying, and not because the person's new, but they're like, mm, they don't fuck with them. And you come to find out that person might be, I know it's gonna get dark, a pedophile or some shit, that kid can pick it up. Same with dogs, dogs can do that shit too. You can see that, they can sense that. You know who else can sense that? Your social media audience. They know when you're full of shit. They know when you capping. They know when you showing off. They know when you've paid for some shit and trying to make it look like you're doing something, make it bigger than what it really is. And I'm not saying you can't celebrate your achievements, but you need to be real. You need to be giving people value. And that's why y'all fuck with me. I tell y'all the good, I tell y'all the bad. Y'all seen the ups, y'all seen the downs. So anytime I do post a win, you know it's real. And when people know that you're real, and you're consistently giving them value, that's when they start fucking with your content. That's when they start sharing your content. That's when they start writing more comments. That's when they start hitting you up with more DMs. That's when your views go up, and then that's when the money comes. Are you consistently giving value? Are you educating people? Are you giving them some sort of escapism through entertainment, making them laugh, making them sing, comedy? Are you turning them on, helping them bust a nut? If you're not doing one of the three E's that we always talk about, education, entertainment, or erotica, what are you doing? Three social media strategies that actually work. Go download that motherfucker right now. It's free. Once again, more information for the barrier of entry. We are in the era of free information. All this shit's free. Free. It just takes time to go look it up.
And then you get niggas like me that come and aggregate this information and put it on YouTube and Instagram for you to watch. And some of you niggas cut the video off before I start talking. Cause you're so focused on the dumb shit, on the gossip shit, to see like what a celebrity said, as opposed to getting a breakdown how it can make you some goddamn money. Some of y'all watch every video I post, but are you executing? Have you downloaded my free ebook? How can you not download the free ebook if you follow me? If you're a musician, how can you not go get the ebook How to Get One Million Streams on Spotify? My nigga, it's free. So if I give you all this shit for free, when you do pay for something, and I'm gonna have stuff coming up in the next 12 months, what value's gonna be in that motherfucker? But I understand, everybody got the money like that. That's why I continue to give you free information, not aggregated. I just got a check yesterday from YouTube. And I'm gonna just say this. That check yesterday that I got from YouTube is bigger than any check I've ever received from any job I've had in my life. Now I got a master's degree. I've had some good jobs that paid pretty good. Not more than what YouTube gave me. Kevin Hart talked about it on here with the advertisements. Back then they might not have been paying. They're paying niggas now. And I'm living proof of that. What are you waiting on? It doesn't get any easier than this. Like, and I want y'all to really pay attention to what I'm saying when I say that. It doesn't get any easier than this. They're gonna start making it a lot more difficult. I'm gonna go even further. I was gonna end the video. Fuck that, I'm gonna keep going. We used to offer Wikipedia pages at Group 82. The reason we offer Wikipedia pages is because I got me a Wikipedia page. I got a Wikipedia page because I studied the ins and outs of Wikipedia. I'm a Wikipedia nerd. I love reading them. I've always been like that ever since it's come out. And so once I saw like, yo, he got a Wikipedia, he got Wikipedia, she got Wikipedia, shit, I can get a Wikipedia. I've done more than them. And I figured out how to get one. And I got one. But they have shut that off now. It's hard as fuck to get a Wikipedia now. The gap was open and now it's closed. Same with playlisting, right? In 2016, 2017, it was very easy to get on playlists that were popping. Didn't cost you that much money. Now, the gap's closed. You still can get a Wikipedia. You still can get on playlists. It's not what it once was, okay? I'm telling you right now, this information age and everything we're doing, okay? It's wide the fuck open. This advertising money that they're giving from YouTube, the 7030 deal is wide the fuck open. And guess what's gonna happen? What you gonna do? You gonna wait for the, or you gonna get on that shit right now? It's up to you. You need help? Instagram, click the link up top. YouTube, click the link in the box. Not the pond. Y'all stay true. Boss, cause I'm about that. I'm about that. Hey. Always focus on my futures why you never see me look back. Late nights, early mornings, all the real ones fear that. Group82music.com.